We are here to talk about the 10 features that we want to see most in the upcoming NCAA football video game. Now, to be clear, this is about the football one. I know that there's a lot of conversation about us getting basketball. Hopefully, we do get that again. But since football is the only one we know for sure, we're talking football. And also, because this game is so far away, a lot of this stuff is going to sound a little unrealistic. Uh, but just remember, the game's not coming out for another year and a half, two years probably. A lot of stuff can happen in that time. So this is what we want to be in the game in our idealized version of what a 10 out of 10 NCAA football game actually looks like. So I'll start with my number one. What I want to see right off the bat is a new game engine. Look, Frostbite, it's dead. When Frostbite came out, it was really cool. There was a lot of stuff that they could do that we were really excited about. And specifically, I mean, I remember they announced it when they announced the new FIFA game. I think it was FIFA... Uh, 15 maybe 15 or 16 and mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff that it could do that we were really excited about but now just about five years later that thing is dead i mean it is showing its age in a big way we can't do anything on that engine that we that that would re that we would associate with a great sports game it feels slow it feels decidedly last gen there has to be a new engine to really make this game feel different than the iterative versions of the last five Maddens that we've gotten over the past few years. Absolutely, and to branch off of that, and you know, a new game engine means how the game feels. And for me personally, I want the game to feel really smooth. You know, any game you ever play, you want it to feel smooth. And I think when you bring back this NCAA series or whatever EA Sports is going to call it, um, you you definitely want it to feel smooth you know i felt i felt like ncaa 14 the last one felt really good you know mm -hmm. still feels really good i don't want this new game version to lag or feel worse than that you know yeah that's that's yeah. all we have to judge it off of is ncaa 14 mm -hmm. and so i want it to feel as you know close to that if not better than that you know obviously as possible yeah i think you're absolutely right about that and so to get on to number three of features that we want to see in this next game and it it definitely branches off that point specifically when you're talking about college so much we see this huge variety in offensive schemes you see teams that run hurry up you see teams that run no huddle you see spreads you see options triple options pro style you see all these different things and part and parcel with this new engine i want them to really take a long time uh to make all of those different offenses feel great when you go back to NCAA 14, the the way that you could run the option in that game, it felt natural, it felt really good, and it felt like you could really get used to it and, and you became dangerous with it if you knew how to do it. I want to see that realized for 2022, 2023, whenever this thing's coming out. So I want it to feel next gen. I want you to be able to run triple options. I want you to be able to run RPOs. If you want to run the spread, if you want to throw 60 times a game like Washington State, I mean, all of these different things, this game, I think, needs to cater to all of those different play styles, really make it feel different than Madden. You won't get teams that do that kind of thing in the NFL, but you, we will get them in college. And to me, that's very important. So, you know, like Adam said, we want it to feel smooth. I want the players to feel fast. I want it to feel responsive. And I want, I want there to be really robust options for us to be able to run all of these different offensive schemes. I want them to redo how they do play calling in the hurry up. At this point, it, it does not feel responsive at all if you run no huddle. Uh, so I want them to change that. And I want them to go back to the drawing board and examine how do we, how do we design these different plays to give the player the most amount of control and really to make, I, I want players to feel like they've just put on a tactical masterclass by running all kinds of, uh, of different varieties. I want players to feel like they're in total control. Absolutely, and you know, to branch off that, I think once you're able to feel in total control, what better way to feel in total control than to do it with pairing it with this number four, which is bring back mascot mode. <laughs> I don't know how many other people played mascot mode, but me personally, I loved it. I love that you yep. could just do it like a, as an offline thing, you know, you had a friend over at your house. I think now, you know, in this day and age, make it an online um, that game mode. Sick. That would be that would be so cool. 
And, you know, I'd love to see, you know, let's say the Washington State team just run a ton of, you know, throw throw the ball a ton of times. So mm-hmm. I think that'd be really funny. We should definitely incorporate that. So I think that is definitely a necessary uh, piece to the new game. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. Getting off the field a little bit now and getting into something that all sports games need in this day and age, and it is a robust customization suite. That's what we need. And NCAA, for my money, they should go all out. Look, here's the thing. For EA, there is so much bad will around EA right now. I mean, their their reputation is in the toilet. You would be hard-pressed to find anyone who doesn't have a bad thing to say about EA, and you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who has a good thing to say about EA, especially when it comes to their sports games. There is one bona fide way to make sure that you get back in the good graces of a very hardcore community, which the NCAA football community is, and that is give them the tools to make this game anything they want. And that's what we need. We need customization for teams. We need customization for players. We need customization for playbooks. If it were me, I would bring back the old play creator that we used to see back in Madden in like 07, 08. The Madden 08 play creator, I probably spent hundreds of hours just using that thing and not even running the plays, just just designing them. I want to see the ability to make our own bowl games. I want to see the, the ability to design your own stadiums, design your own uniforms. I mean, this that kind of thing, If the game is if the game is at least playable, you don't have to give us anything else but give us the customization let us let the community do what we've seen this community do for years and years and years a community that still plays ncaa football 14 seven years after the fact you give them the ability to essentially create their own game using your tools that is the best that is the bona fide number one way to get yourself back into the good graces of the fans and for ea they have a rare chance to restart on this franchise that they haven't touched since 2014 or 2013 i guess when that game came out this is the way to do it and we need that very very robust suite of creation options absolutely couldn't agree with you more there which also leads to uh, the next point which is the sixth point of this and that is Um, bringing in an idea, a concept that was actually very much ahead of its time, Mm -hmm. coming from FIFA, but also it's EA produced. Um, But FIFA had, I want to say it was, I think we discussed this before, it was like 13, 14, 15, I want to say. Yeah, right around that Uh, time. Around around then, they had a, a creation center. Something where, you know, you could go online with your mouse and you'd be able to create jerseys, you could create... Uh, custom players and there was no cap on that you could just you could do that as much as you want you I think actually the cap was you could create 20 new teams yeah but there was no cap on the amount of players you could have you know yep. total in your system or whatever it was just this huge thing you could da- design you could download designs of your logos um, mm-hmm. but you could do it on your computer there was a website for it and I'm blanking on the website right now but there was a website for it that you could do that yep. I think if they did this it's just a branched off idea of what Griffin was just saying they made this creation center and you were allowed to do that for the teams of players um, and you really incorporate it into this community I think that would be huge you know, yeah. I think that would be so huge. That'd be such a comeback. I think that'd be such an added bonus. I'm really reaching for the stars here personally. But <laughs> like you said, if they go all out for this game, I think the NCAA community is one of the most loyal communities out there. You know, I think yeah. you're always going to sell the titles of, um, you know, NBA 2K. You're going to always sell your FIFA title, you know, and. Yeah. Um, but I think if you want to talk about loyal and most deserving, I personally think it's the NCAA community. I would definitely agree with you on that. Give them the creation center. Let the juices flow. <laughs> yep, I'm with you. I'm with you 100% on that. Let's transition here as we move into number seven. Let's talk about some of the game modes that we would like to see. And the first one, obviously, when you think NCAA, you think Dynasty mode. So many people in the community, anyone who plays this game, most people play Dynasty mode. So I want to start here. The Dynasty mode in NCAA 14, to me, was excellent. As far as the base of what a franchise type mode can be, that was the one. Because you really felt like you were there. You felt like you were coaching the team. The recruiting was awesome. You know, all... All of these things made you feel like you were part of something. It made you feel like you were part of the team. 
I want I want EA to look back at what they did for 14 and not try to reinvent the wheel here. I want them to look at it and say, this what we did, this mode, this mode is great. Let's update it. Let's give it some new, a, a couple new features. But at the end of the day, we don't really need to change that much about this. In our return to this game, we are going to make sure that we deliver this mode that people love. And what, and, and specifically, what did people love about it? Recruiting was excellent. It was as good as any recruiting mechanic has been in any game that has ever been made. So keep recruiting the way it is. Keep your scheduling the way it is and keep the menu layout the way it is. These are the things that people loved about that mode. And then if you wanna add in some features here and there, if you want to add in a couple features to make recruiting even more in depth, then do it. You know, I would like to see a situation where casual fans can pick up the game, play dynasty mode, not have to worry about all of, you know, allocating hours for recruiting and, you know, really diving deep into that. Um, but I, so I would like to see that be an option, kind of like a, kind of like a casual option, but then I would like to see an option f to, to make it truly immersive for nerds like us, you know, so that we can get in there and we can for hours tinker with the specifics of recruiting and setting our plans and creating our pipelines. And, you know, I think again, ideally we're talking pie in the sky here. I'd like to see uh, some dialogue choices where you could actually talk to recruits mm -hmm. and, and, you know, maybe do a little bit of that. We've seen it in games like FIFA where it hasn't been perfectly implemented, but at least it's there where you get to talk to people and lay out your plan. So I would love to see uh, a mode like that. I mean, I would love to be able to get really granular when it comes to recruiting. That's something that Dynasty Mode in 14 was so, so good at was just making you feel like you were on the recruiting trail, that you were really creating this team, you were creating your game plan, you were doing all this. So use that as a base and deliver that for the next generation. Don't try to reinvent the wheel here when it comes to dynasty mode. Absolutely, and you know, that's such a great and powerful point is that dynasty mode here, you know, that's, that's what a lot of uh, content creators and people like us do right now and mm -hmm. use right now is that dynasty mode. They've just been going back different teams. I'm sure somebody's done all, however many teams, 250 teams or whatever there are, may, may, probably <laughs> less in, uh, in NCAA 14. But that is such a huge base for content, for creation, for letting people play. Yep. You know, it's the start of bringing back, you know, one star you know, dynasties, you know, bringing them up right. to that five star base. I think, I think that's definitely needs to have a good look at when they bring this game back to really, you know, make sure that that mode is, is the end all be all that we want. Yeah. yeah. Um, moving on to number eight though, we have, we want a redesigned road to glory. I think bring, I think bring back road to glory for sure. Keep it as the same thing as a senior in high school you know, going on to college. I think mm -hmm. keeping it that five years is awesome. I yep. think taking something like what they do with the, um, with NBA 2K and adding a little bit of a story onto it would be neat as well. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe even maybe an option to play it with the story or play it without the story. Because I get some people may not like the story mode per se. I personally like NBA story mode, but don't like Madden's. So it's really just like, yep. it, it could be hit or miss for me. But bringing back to that Road to Glory mode was so, so much fun, mm -hmm. you know? It, it really was, and like, whether you played, I never never played um, personally, but like, if you played in high school, you know, played football in high school, go back, recreate that big linebacker that you were, you know? Go yeah. tear through your rival team's defense and get that five-star recruit that you know you could have been, or should have right. been. You know, go, yep. go do that. Go bring that back. And I think that was that for me, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, I used to mess around actually with, before Lamar Jackson went to um, Louisville. I remember hearing about him in Florida high school. And I was like, you know what? And I did this, I think, on NCAA 12, I want to say. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the one I had was NCAA 12. But I, um, I recreated Lamar Jackson. I recreated his high school. I recreated like their schedule in the game. Um, and then I went and did it and s s like saw which schools I could get for Lamar Jackson. Just, you know, mm -hmm. did my own thing. And that, that was a lot of fun. I think we need to bring that back, you know, just for the, the creation of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely with you. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I would love to be able to have that option. And you know what? If it's great, I'll play it, you know, at the end of the day. And I think a lot right. of dedicated players will. <laughs> uh, penultimate entry here, number nine. And I want to talk about a very specific point 
uh, when we talk about the AI. AI in sports games is very, very important because you have one group of players that plays online, um, and you'll get to that in our final in number 10 here. But you do have a large number of players, especially in this game when it comes to Dynasty, you have a large number of players that do play single player or play with their friends as you and I have done for countless hours in our lives. Um, and so the AI really is an important part, whether they're on your team or, or they're on the opposing team. And one thing that I think really needs to be addressed is going back to the drawing board, and this connects into also getting in a new game engine, where I want to I want to take another look at AI and make sure that what we're designing here with our AI players, with the CPU controlled players, is we want we want to have players that that feel real. So what I want to see is EA come to the table with a difficulty system that means that AI, if you if you want to go on legendary or Heisman difficulty, the AI should start to actually out game plan you. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see you put it on Heisman and suddenly the AI, like they're just the linebackers have a thousand speed and so they're chasing down wide receivers and stuff because that's ridiculous. If I wanted to do that, then I would go to the sliders and I would make that happen for a laugh or something. If I want an actually challenging experience, what I want is for those linebackers on the opposing team, I want them to have the exact same attributes. They're just as fast. They're just, you know everything is just normal, except they read the plays better, right? So I'm trying to do an option, and if I'm on if I'm on rookie, then the linebacker will fail to diagnose the option, and I can blow it for 25 yards. But if I'm on Heisman, mm -hmm. the middle linebacker reads the option immediately because I've just done it the last three plays, so he knows exactly what I'm doing, and so he diagnoses it, and he drops me for a loss even if I read the play correctly because that's what great linebackers do. Think about the great linebackers that we've seen over the last couple years in college football. I want the AI to play like that. They're, they're linebackers, just, just as an example, they are smart. The DBs are smart. They'll start jumping routes. Not that they're way faster than my receivers, but they start jumping routes in a very intelligent way because I've thrown to the same guy the last three plays, so they start jumping that. That's what I want to see. I remember Madden used to brag about this, that that I think it was Madden 08 or 09, where they would brag that if you ran the same defense, or it, it, like cause Peyton Manning was, was, uh, was the MVP right after that season, I think in Madden 08. Mm -hmm. So they bragged, yep. if you run the same defense three times in a row, Peyton Manning will audible out of the play and he'll burn you. And to an extent that was true, but that was also 2008. We're 2021, so I do want to see that. I want to see me run the same A-gap blitz for five plays in a row, and the quarterback on that sixth play audibles out and hits me over the top for a touchdown. That's what I want to see. I want to see an AI that responds to me, that makes me feel good when I beat it. Like, I outthought a computer when I beat it, not just, okay, well, you know, the computer's playing the exact same as it is. It's just that the linebackers now are all Usain Bolt or something. That's not as fun. I want to have fun playing the computer and that's how you do it make it challenging for me that every game is a tactical battle between me and the computer there's no reason why you couldn't do it you look at games that have great ai these days there's no there's no question that the technology is there for ai to actually think and be somewhat intelligent there's no question that that technology exists so i just want to see that implemented so i can have a great time whether i'm playing against a player or against an ai I mean, absolutely. You make some great points there where, you know, we all want that challenge. You know, I feel like a lot of people have mastered that NCAA 14 game by now. And, yep. you know, come come this new NCAA game whenever, you know, we are to get it. You know, a, a bit of a challenge would be awesome and probably refreshing for a lot of people. No question. And then now we're on to our uh, last point here, the 10th the point of of this. And it's something that, you know, it's not, it's not a new idea. I'm taking it from just kind of where the world is headed right now, but esports, you know, get and this this branches off into two separate ideas, but mainly get a competitive ranked mode in this game. Now, disclaimer to this point is we're dealing with a college game. Um, there has been legal discussions about players getting their images paid for or not paid for, but you know, what I mean, they get to right. they get paid for their image to be used and whatnot, you know sure that's all up in the air right now i'm just saying get a competitive ranked mode maybe not an ultimate team won't be allowed like in nca 14 yeah. but if there's a competitive online mode that you can choose 
you know, we'll just take Bama for this pass. You, you could pick Bama versus Bama, and you play somebody, and you're the same team or whatever. Or let's say you really, you really liked um, Ohio State. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to do Ohio State versus Bama, but it's competitive. You earn points for it. You know, maybe mm-hmm. there's a a weekend league style like in FIFA. You know, maybe yep, they do yep. something like that. I think that would be super fun. Personally, I'm not good enough. For that, so it wouldn't be for me. But I know that there'd be there's a huge market there, and I think it'd be a huge missed opportunity for EA if they didn't include that. Yeah, I personally. Agree. And when you look at the community and people who have been playing NCAA 14 for seven years, I think they would love nothing more than to be able to to uh, go out and compete against other players who have been playing the same game for seven years straight, and we can finally settle some of those uh, a lot of those rivalries that we've had brewing for the last few years about who would be better in this hypothetical ncaa football game that we are all so excited for absolutely and then the sec the second point (laughs) for uh off of that is like a friends mode or friendlies mode you know Mm -hmm. as well um you know just just get in the aspect where you know in this day and age (laughs) You know, you can't really leave your house to some extent, you know, every place in the United States where we're at is different, but some places you can leave your house without a mask, some places you can't, you know, maybe you can't see your friend for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Make there an online mode to play your friend. I would love to play Griffin and beat him right now. (laughs) Trust me. Trust me. I'm sure he feels the same way, but I would love nothing more than to have, you know, a chill online mode that you could, you could choose your favorite school, the school you went to, just the school you support whatever would love to do that just in a in a chiller setting than a a competitive high-ranked mode absolutely absolutely i couldn't agree with you more well there you go those are 10 features that we would love to see in the upcoming ncaa football game did we miss any features that you would want do you have maybe we were wrong maybe there was something that we didn't think of or something that really wouldn't be that fun if you have any ideas, obviously leave them down in the comments. We'll talk about it. We can talk about it for the next two years or however long it takes for this game to come out. I'm sure there will be no shortage of, uh, of discussion points from those of us in the community who just are so excited for this game to come around. If there's any more news, we'll bring it to you here on GA Sports. So make sure you subscribe because you never know when that news might come. If you subscribe, you'll never have to. Just watch our videos. We appreciate you. Still